two options. Um, the first one is probably by far the easiest. So first of all, go back to your home screen. We go to this more down here, beta features. Once you go to beta features, you don't go to web browser. Okay. Now, if you've not already, then you'll have to log into your Wi-Fi network. And in essence, what this gives you is a web browser. And the best way, option A, to get your files onto the Kobo is to basically email them to yourself using a Gmail or a Google Mail account. Now, unfortunately, Outlook, Hot, Hotmail won't work. You have to use Gmail or Google. So what you then do is if you go to Gmail, com and then what that will do that will bring in your login and then you can log into your gmail account and then you can see your gmail so let me show you that eventually what happen is you'll come to this page and what you've got to remember is this web browser it is a beta version so it is a trial version click on use the web version then as long as you've sent the file to yourself then you can just click on it so open that email where you've attached the file that you want to upload onto your Kobo. So in this case, click on the file. This one's called using a smart monitor PDF. And then once you clicked on it, it will say, do you want to download it? Hit continue. It will then download. You can then open the file. And then this is the file. That you've then downloaded so you've side loaded the file onto and just to prove that that's worked if you then go back and close right out and then what you'll find is it will be the most recent file there okay it's one way of doing it the other way of doing it is again still through beta features web browser and what you can do is if your file is saved onto a phone whether it's Android or Apple, you can look for what's called a web DAV application. I'm going to show you on the Android. Basically, what you're doing is with the app is as long as the Kobo and your phone are on the same Wi-Fi, you are creating an IP address where you can search for that IP address through here, through the web browser to download the file directly from your phone. Now, it sounds complicated, but I'll talk you through it. If you can't get the Gmail option to work, I'll talk you through how to do this one. HTTPS FS file server, this is the one I use. So if you type in HTTPS, HTTP FS file server, and what it allows you to do is if I open it up. So basically, once I hit this button here, it sets my phone to what's called an IP address. Now you don't have to worry about that too much, but in essence, it means that anyone else on my Wi-Fi network can now connect to my phone and download any files on it. So if I've downloaded, let's say a PDF file on here, and now I want to find that PDF file, I can then open up, and I'll just show you on server settings, this top one that's called WebDAV, if I type in that into my Internet Explorer bar, I will be able to see all of the files on my phone and in turn I can then download them onto that device. OK, so let me show you the Kobo itself and how that works. The if I hit go on that, then here is my files. Okay. So this is the file structure on your phone okay and this is your folders so if i go to and i'll just zoom in a bit if i go to my download folder here okay and then for me i'll go to where i've called it file here okay and there you go there's my file click on it it'll ask me do i want to download it and if i hit continue it will then download that file if i then open it up it's now on my Kobo. So I've side loaded it by basically putting my phone into a position where it's acting as a file server through an app and then from there you can then download the file. 
Unfortunately, I've not found a way that I can FTP. That doesn't seem to work, but WebDAV does seem to work. In this case, I've shown you the Android app, which is HTTPFS. Obviously, I can't vouch for the security of that app, but it seems pretty good and it's got good ratings, but there are others out there you may want to check out. I hope that's helped. Um, please do like, please subscribe. Please do leave me any questions or comments, and thanks for watching.